It looks like our Bengal tigers are enjoying their sprinklers around the waterfall. So I'm glad. I'm glad we put this uh, this enrichment in a little like water zone. Oh my goodness, this jumped at us. Now our other tiger is obviously pooping because I've zoomed in on them. <laughs> but we need to rename them, and I think the most popular name we had. If I uh, follow them before they run off, <laughs> the uh, the most popular name we had was obviously going to be Shere Khan. So. We have now got a tiger called Shere Khan. I hope you guys in the comments are happy. Look at them eating the frozen fish as well. Frozen block of fish. I actually can't imagine anything worse. <laughs> That's so gross. But they seem to be enjoying it, so... <laughs> now, today, the plan is to build a large habitat over on this side. And I think this is something we're going to do towards the end of the episode. Uh, because first off, we need to get our transport system sorted out. And we've also got a couple of alerts. Oh no, it's just we've got some rewards. There we go. Um, but we need to get our transport system sorted out. And we said we're going to use the suspended gondola. Oh no, don't inbreed. No, put that hand away. Who's, who's related to who? Right, you're an outsider. We're going to release you into the wild. For 42 credits, that's not bad for one lemur. There you go. No inbreeding. Oh, we've got another one. It's probably for releasing lemurs. Oh no. Just the old, the old one. The old notification that didn't go away. Okay, cool. So many animals now. We have so, so many animals. Look at the little lemurs. Just having a great time. There's so many red rough lemurs. I think we need to revisit this and just check everyone's actually... Are there any outsiders? Yeah, there are some more outsiders here. Okay. So any outsiders, which are just basically excess males that we have going to release them all into the wild. Wow, we've got way too many lemurs. This is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. They must have all matured. I'm going to release. Oh, that's only three of them. Okay, that's gone weird. We'll release the rest of them as well. <laughs> there we go. That's gone all of them now. Let's release these other eight lemurs into the wild too. And our ringtails and our red rough lemurs seem to be fine. Someone's died. Oh no, Snorlax has died. Oh, the proboscis monkeys are very strange. I don't actually think we ever got a male in here, did we? It's the uh, it's the Indian elephant habitat, which is doing really well as far as the elephant side of things. Look at the little, the little, oh, little baby that we've missed. And there's this Ellie over here. Oh, this is Cupcake. This is a different one as well. Oh, I love it. We've got so many baby elephants in here. Um, Wow, look at them. Look at all these babies. Um, but we need to check up on the, we need better food quality as well. Um, we, oh, is that the last proboscis monkey? <gasps> oh my goodness, all the proboscis monkeys have died. Wow, okay, well we need to repopulate them before we put our transport in. Um, because we can't have that. Let's reset our filters. Proboscis monkeys. We've got a few in here. I'm tempted to just get these, actually. Are they all from the same zoo, though? They are. It's from Frontier Zoo, though, so I'm not sure if they'll be related. Um, I'm trying to think if there's a way to check or whether you can't check in here. Okay, what I'm going to do, because I'm not fully sure now this works, <laughs> is I'm going to adopt the females, um, which are nine. Is that is that too old for proboscis monkeys? How long do you guys live? 21. I mean, it's getting, it's getting there. But if they have babies, it's not too bad. They're all around 10. Let's get these because then we've got some. And now we can, uh, we can co perhaps compare mates now. No? Okay. I don't know if they're going to have, let's, let's just get them and we'll see. We'll see what happens. And you guys can tell me in the comments how, how you're supposed to manage this. Wow. Okay. So we've got quite a few that have uh, gone to the trade center. I'm not fully sure why. I think perhaps because they've they've done something dangerous in the habitat and gotten boxed up. I'm just going to move these into the actual habitats. Um, so we've got the lemurs are over here. So let's move the ringtail lemurs over there. Then we've got a couple of penguins. Need to go in there. And then I've got a reticulated giraffe. I'm assuming... Oh, actually, let's check who your... Right, this is... This is Wow, okay, so this is Howard's baby. So let's move 
this little one into uh, this habitat where our top man Howard is. Look at him, just eating his eating his food. I don't know what what did, what did giraffes eat? Hay, grass, must be leaves. It's leaves, isn't it? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what they eat. And then oh, the, uh, the all the penguins are going as soon as I click on them. Um, they're relocating. So let's move you guys to the penguin habitat too. African penguins. We're gonna have loads of penguins over there. And now we've got our four monkeys need to go to quarantine because they are new to the zoo. And we need to check that they're not gonna be diseased or have any kind of injuries that we need to sort out. We keep getting a notification for our like challenges and we don't actually have a reward. So I'm not sure what's going on there. It's a bit odd, but uh, I'm gonna leave it. We've got so many people in the zoo as well. Look at this, this is insane. I'm actually tempted just to widen this path here um, to maybe be nine. If I delete, if I pause the game and delete this path, just because it gives a more like a, a bit a wider thoroughfare for them to actually get into this section and choose which way they want to go um they're also super congested here which is crazy like that's insane but i think it's because they they love the tapers so much how are the tapers because they tend to breed a bit out of control normally and they have done so again so i'm going to release the two outsiders at least you can nice and easily see now on the uh, on, on the thing where, where there are outsiders. Release both of the outsiders. And we're back to a healthy population of two. And a penguin has gotten themselves stuck on this side of the barrier. So it's alright, we'll just shift them over. And I think you've done the same thing. Oh. Oh, protesters have spotted them. Oh, no, no. The, uh, the inspector spotted protesters. That's not good. Oh, well. That's just kind of a, a game glitch, though. That's not really something that's our fault. So I'm not going to say that we did anything wrong there. That's just a game bug. And our male giraffe has, uh, has grown up. So now he's an outsider. So I'm tempted. Let me just have a check to see whether in a, we have a male in our other giraffe habitat. Because I'm not sure we do. Oh, we do. Yes, we've got Top Man Harold over here. Oh, and we've got another male in here too. So I think this must be Howard's, yeah, uh, Harold's baby. So we're going to release him into the wild. Wow, 206 credits. That's insane. It's amazing. It's so, so good. And we've got our new, our new male uh, lechery in here. So we haven't actually named our lechery. So I'm going to go from the name list and call him Lupin. And there he is, our little breeder. And then we've got the son of Howard over here, who we're going to also release into the wild. The 224 credits. Clearly, Howard has superior babies. <laughs> and uh, and then we're going to have a look at the Oryx as well, just to make sure that they're okay. Oh, we've got... Oh, they're injured. There's been a bit of fighting here. So I'm going to call the vet for you guys. And then uh, we'd probably need to release one of them into the wild. Oh, they're already being moved. Okay, so the vet's already there for them. That's good. I feel like it always shows me the other one that I want to click every time. And we've got another male here who's an outsider. So I think this one's going to need to be released to the wild. Oh, perhaps it was an inbred one. <laughs> Zero fertility, which isn't the best. Oh, and Peanuts died. Oh, Peanut. Oh, that's very sad. Which I think means that in this habitat, oh, the, the keeper's coming to collect them. I think it just means we've got, oh, Badger, who's elderly now. They lived a good life in here, though. They had some good times in here. Uh, now we just have to uh, check on. I'm trying to think where the barrier is. I think it's all null barrier. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be incredibly difficult to click on. So we'll have to go for their, uh, their entrance here, the keeper gate. It's just Badger, and they haven't had any more babies since they got elderly. So I think what I'm going to do... If he's happy living on his own, which I think, yeah, I think the bears are, then I'll just leave him until he passes away. And then we'll get a couple of new young bears. Because I feel like it might be stressful to introduce a new female. He's not bothered. He's he's past the point of breeding. He just wants to live out his days in his little territory, being fed. He's got his little waterfall over there. Like, he's going in his water. He's just having living his best life to, to live out his days in peace. Look at him there. 
and it looks like all of our proboscis monkeys have passed their quarantine so i'm going to move them across into the indian elephant and proboscis monkeys habitat which should then be far more interesting got a lot of poop in here are they uh are they going to clean it up the old keepers look at them this is the dad isn't it this is dumbo looking after his his little girl he's so cute was this one of his little boys no it is it's ellie oh <laughs> adorable okay so let's actually install our transport system which is the suspended gondola so i've just neatened up this uh little underground section for our otter habitat so that we've got a little bit like th this side was a bit wonky <laughs> um so i think we're gonna put our gondola in here and we don't want it to be facing this direction we want it to be facing forward so we can use this terrain as kind of like a an elevation gaining point because we're not really using this at the minute so i'm gonna place it i think i'm gonna have to start it on the hill i'm gonna try and build it as a ramp so that um it's a bit more accessible and in fact i might just smooth out this terrain very slightly so it's a bit more generally accessible okay so that's a much smoother ramp now i'm hoping that we can place it a bit more easily on here okay perhaps around here Ooh, and it tried to drag the camera with it. Um, so what I've done is place it so the arrow is facing this way, which means the gondola is going to go in that direction. Um, now I'm going to look at the station and we can change how the station works. So we can have them enter and exit on the left hand side. We can have them enter on, on the left hand side and exit on the right. We can enter on the right and exit on the left, or we can enter both times on the right, enter and exit on the right. And I think we're gonna do on the right hand side and curve them around. Or in fact, maybe we should do one on each side. Just thinking, I, I wanna kind of avoid the drop, but if we put in a path on either side, I think it will be absolutely fine. So let's say we're gonna have them enter on the right, because this is the main thoroughfare, and, ent and exit on the left. So now um, let's get our actual track built and then we'll do the other bits a little bit later. So as far as general track um, controls, you can use this ruler um, arrow to make it longer or shorter, the piece of track. Um, there is a minimum length, in this one it's eight. Um, you can also with gondolas raise them up and down, which uh, will look more impressive as the track is longer. <laughs> you can raise them up and down. Um, and then you can go left to right with the remaining arrow. And I think we want to gain some height because we want to go kind of over the uh, over the park as much as we can, over the zoo. So I'm going to perhaps do a bit of a turn around here and just build these sections of track and keep the elevation going at eight degrees up. There we go. 
We have now joined up an entire gondola track around the zoo, which I think is really cool. And I appreciate that everything we've been doing in the zoo, I, I mean, this, this little squiggle is just to gain elevation, but um, I don't think it's that bad. Um, everything we've been doing so far has been geared towards sustainability. And I do fully appreciate that these steel beams um, and steel track don't really fit in with that. But we're kind of limited on options in the game as far as a sustainable transport ride. And I do want to make the zoo accessible to all as well. And some people aren't going to be able to walk this distance, like just to get to the gharial habitat from the entrance of our zoo. It's, it's so, so far. And I know we could put another entrance, but that kind of feels like cheesing the game a little bit. And also it's like, okay, so they're going to go through that entrance, but they're still only going to see this section of the zoo. They're not, they're still not going to be able to explore the whole zoo. Whereas having a free gondola ride around the zoo would let them travel the long distances and kind of see what they want to see rather than, oh, well, this is on this side of the zoo. So I guess we're only going to see this today, you know? Um, so I think, well, we need to power all of these first. So we're going to need a few solar panels just added to the zoo. I think that's actually all of them that we need. Um, I'm just wondering whether we could do with another station around here, but I don't actually think we need to because the zoo entrance is just there and, and to access that part of the zoo is quite close. So we, at the minute we've got, we've got accessibility. We've got one here in the zoo near the entrance. The entrance is here. We've got one gondola station here, one over here in the Asia section one round here on the kind of other side of the Asia section slash the, you know, the Gariel's own island section. Um, and then they come round and we've got one kind of in the heart of the Africa section. Now we haven't got one here, but that's only because it is kind of quite close to the entrance. And I feel like this is a distance that they would probably walk. Um, and it, it's going to be tricky to add anything in. It's so densely packed in this section. It's going to be a bit tricky to add in um, a gondola there and this and this way they go right around the outside um, which is pretty cool so uh, that's uh, that's what we're going with <laughs> now we need to place all the entrances and exits for all of these stations so I'm just going to do that now where it feels logical and then build in either um, queue paths to the entrances and then normal paths from the exits just joining up to the rest of the zoo Okay, now let's customize the ride. I think we're gonna change the track colors to be something a little bit, some like something that's gonna fit in a little bit more. So I think this blue, we're gonna to change to a green and then perhaps we can get a bit more earthy, earthy brown colors. Just wondering whether these are they're gonna fit in a bit more. It's a bit more uh, wooden. And then we can we can kind of imagine that it's made more of wood. I don't think we're going to get that with these beams though. So I think I'm going to put them in green as well. I just have a darker green. And the same with the car. I think we're going to have the cars be a nice 
light green um, and, and dark green mix. So keeping that eco-friendly theme going. Now we've got this insane roller coaster going around our zoo. I think it's time that we decorate these station points. That's what I'm gonna do now. Now you'll notice that I just decorated the surrounding area of the ride and that's just because I'm going to decorate the rest of the outside of the zoo later. Um, I just wanted to get these sections done so you can kind of see a bit, like you see a bit more what it's going to look like rather than it just being kind of an ugly metal post in the middle of nowhere. Um, I think this kind of ties it in a lot nicer and, and, and shows you what it's going to look like. Now let's have a ride on this gondola. Look at us go! 
I feel like the shake would terrify me. And these, this is the view from the seat, which is actually pretty cool. I mean, we're stationed right now, but you, look, you can see you get a pretty decent view of everything as, as you're going around. And it's not going too fast, so I feel like I wouldn't be sick, which is good. Because <laughs> I am not a ride person. I, I mean, I love Roller Coaster Tycoon and Roller Coaster E games, but if I'm actually going to a theme park, I am so pathetic. I don't want to get on anything. I'm so scared. <laughs> uh, but this, I feel like I would do this. And this gives us quite a cool view. Let's have a look at some of the cinematic shots. I mean, that's that's so cool, isn't it? just to have that going around our zoo. And we do need to make it free. So I think what we should do is we should open all of these. Now we need to go to finance statistics and make this, oh, the ticket price is $1. I'm just gonna make it free because we barely make anything from it anyway. And it costs, it barely costs anything. It costs 415 a year, which is crazy, crazy low. So um, we're just gonna lose money on this, but I don't think of that as, a, as an issue. I think that's, something that we should be doing and it's just going to go in a continuous continuous loop oh what shuttle mode a single vehicle will move oh no no we just want it to go continuous loop because otherwise <laughs> um they're gonna have them going back and forth and, and colliding with one another no we just have one loop around the thing um i think we probably need some more of them though because there don't seem to be very many actual like carts so how many have we got Ah, I've realized that since we've opened it, we need to go back and change it because currently we only have one, one pod. So that's not really ideal. So I'm just going to close them and then we can change the number of vehicles. So maybe let's have like 10 and then, and then reopen them. I'm going to have to rename these stations. This is going to be entrance. Otherwise, I, I have no idea what entrance, like 2831. This one is Asia. Uh, this one is, I'm going to call it Island because it's near the Gariel Island. And then this one is going to be Africa. Okay. Oh, hold on. We're going to have to pause because we've got some dangerous fighting for Alpha Status. Our pygmy hippos are fighting, which means that one of them, we've got two males. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Well, we don't want this to happen. So we're going to have to release you into the wild, my friend. For 114. Look at that little bubba right there. How cute is that? We've got a few other alerts. Um, we've got overcrowding and Komodo dragons. So we need to sort that out because that's leading to fighting too. Um, oh, we've got quite a few, quite a few extra population. Oh no, Gummy's been injured. Oh, okay. We're going to call the vet. You will be fine. Don't you worry. It's just your babies have kind of grown up and they're, uh, they're not super happy about sharing the space with mum and dad, clearly. So uh, we're going to just release these three babies into the wild. Get 107 credits. That's not bad. And then, oh, we've got a couple of deaths. Um, I don't think we named this otter, um, but they very sadly uh, died on the top of the water, as has Nova, who we did name. The doll. Bless. Well, okay. That's at least cleared some of our alerts. Um, we've got a facility without power, but that's not an issue. It just needs... This, this solar panel probably just needs seeing too. I'm, I'm not too bothered if they come in and out of power. It doesn't really bother me. And then we've got a little reward. It's a little boost of cash. How are we doing financially? Ooh, we've got some, uh, some, some hits, but I think we're generally all right. We've got, we probably just need to increase our ticket price actually, thinking about it, because our guests are probably loving ticket price. They say it's, it's good and they need, they love the riverboat. They basically just need more. We need more guest facilities. I am just going to up this though to 50. Uh, should we just do it 60 and 30 now? Let's just do $60 and $30. And we'll probably leave it there because I don't really think it should be more expensive than that. That's that, that's a lot, um, in my opinion, anyway, to go to a zoo. But we have done a great job of looking after our animals in this zoo. So I feel like, you know, it's going towards that. They know that. They know that it's, it's a conservation zoo. And it's, it's all eco-friendly, so you kind of expect to pay a little bit more. Um, but I'm, I'm just now, I'm going to open up our ride and let our guests be transported around, around our zoo. 
I kind of want to see someone go on it now. Um, <laughs> we may have to let, give them a bit of time, though, to actually use it. Uh, but this has massively helped our transportation around the zoo. So hopefully some of this crowding can uh, can be spread out and, and we can get more guests over to like this side of the zoo where there's not really anyone. Because at the minute, they are missing out. Look. <gasps> oh my goodness. There are two white tigers. This means we've had... Oh my goodness, and they're both cubs. We've had two baby... Is this Siberian? Siberian tigers. And they're both white. Oh my goodness. Wow, I am so happy if you can't tell. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Wow. I think this is... Yeah, this is Jasmine over here. Oh. Oh, I'm going to pause. These red rough lemurs need to seriously sort themselves out because they just keep inbreeding like there's no tomorrow or trying to anyway. Um, we're going to need to take all these. Look how many males there are. I'm going to have to just release these males that are outsiders. Oh, I just released the one. Let's release this one as well. And uh, yeah, we. <laughs> it's just so much. So much inbreeding, but you know, I'm glad that they're breeding at least, or you know, at least trying to. <laughs> I'd rather they didn't inbreed, but we're doing a pretty good job of stopping that. I can't believe we've got some more uh, leucistic tigers. Is it leucistic? Ah, I'm, I'm never going to pronounce it right, am I? Let's be honest. But uh, I think it's adorable. Oh, look, is that a giraffe eating? Look how cute they are. Who doesn't love a giraffe? It's rhetorical. Everyone loves giraffes. <laughs> and now we need to move on to the final thing we're going to do in this episode, which is going to give you a big hint as to what's in the next episode, um, which is to build a restaurant area around this side of the park to pull, pull guests over here. And we're not going to go for a big one. I don't think we're going to do a full on restaurant. We're just going to have a bit more of a relaxed uh, eating area, like an outdoor eating area, like we had uh, on the other half, like the Africa side of the zoo. I think we're going to put in some, some just 10 meter natural pathing and probably keep it. We may, we need to move this solar panel over slightly um, just to, oh look, the gondola. Is there anyone in it? Is there anyone? No? Okay. Well, that was disappointing. Um, we are on the, the, uh, the abandoned side of the zoo though, so it kind of makes sense. Um, let's see if we can move this solar panel over. Um, and still keep... Ah, oh, no, we can't. It needs to be here. That's fine. Okay, we just need to slightly offset where our eating area is going to be. I think that's fine. We're just going to have our eating area take up this side of the path. So I'm going to delete this, uh, these seats and just start with a little... marking out a little area. And I'm actually going to keep all these trees in here and uh, and put some more in. Oh no, we just had an animal die. Oh no, all our dolls are dying. This really isn't good. Okay, um, well, let's... Oh, the vet's already got them. We've, we've already got two dolls left. What happened to all of them? <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Well, we need to we need to get some more. So let's, let's go for that right now. Um, got a new male. Oh, this young buck looks pretty good. He's only four, four years old. We've got some younger ones here. I mean, how, how long do they live? Oh no, more animals are dying. An African wild dog, that's not, it's not the same, thankfully. Um, let's have a look at our dolls. I get distracted so easily. Um, they live to be 13. Okay, so four, the difference between three and four is not that big a deal, really. That's, uh, that's something that's not worth the extra money, particularly. Okay, so we've got a four-year-old here. We've got a five-year-old. This is a pretty good five-year-old, though. So I'm going to get this one, this male. And then we're going to need some more females. I mean, what, what group size could they be in? Oh, it's, it's completely mixed. So let's just get a number of different males. Okay, we've just brought five new male dolls. And we're going to send them all the way back to the start. We're going to put them in quarantine over here. Um, some of you have said we should probably get a different quarantine on the other side of the zoo. And you're, you're right, we should. <laughs> uh, we actually should, because we've got a vet, uh, vet area surrounding it, but we don't have any quarantine areas. And I'm not 100% on how quarantine's used as far as the health of the, the animals. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited by this though. 
Look at all the guests coming to this side of the park. How amazing is this? Or are they leaving? No, it goes, it goes, it goes that way. Yes. But get off. Why, why are you sat here? Oh, I think they're waiting for it to load. And then these ones are going to come in and get off. So look at all these people waiting to get to the side of the zoo. And they're like, oh, no, sorry. We, uh, we don't do that like this. I don't think I can even edit that now because we've already tested the ride. Um, <laughs> I think they're just going to have to wait until it's, it's at quarter load or it hits that minimum, t that like maximum time threshold. Oh dear, look at the pile up. Oh, well, this is going to resolve itself uh, later on, I'm sure. When, when things get a bit more cooking, it'll, it'll sort itself out when they get more into the swing of things. Um, anyway, we've got, I think we, uh, we already called the vet about that. We keep getting all of these awards, um, all these rewards here. I don't know what they're from though, because it's not showing up. There's just probably so many notifications that my computer is like crashing <laughs> with all of our penguins that have matured. Honestly, penguins are a great way to test your system with this game. Um, oh, we've got a broken down ATM as well. Let's fix that because we don't want that, do we? We want people to be able to get money out. And actually, I'm just going to copy this ATM while we have one in mind, because that would be a great thing for our new area over here. I'm going to put in a row of ATMs actually on on this side over here, because we want people to be able to get money out uh, kind of in peace. I think that's a reasonable spacing for them. You gotta think, you don't wanna be like really close. It's like a really awkward atmosphere around ATMs <laughs> where everyone's a bit like, you know, they, they don't want anyone to take their money, um, which for some reason you think is just so much more likely when you're next to an ATM. And probably because it is. I mean, I guess it happens. But uh, I think if we take this shell now, yes, this is just a shell. I'm gonna copy this from what we did earlier and right at the entrance of the zoo and place another one of these at the back here. So this is what happened. This is where the game slightly annoys me is the guest facilities. They'll want us to add them in kind of outside of the area we've built. As you can see that like they want us to add them onto the back, um, which is going to be slightly annoying, but I think we're going to be OK. We're going to be able to do it now. We need to think about what we want to sell hats. I think we definitely want to sell hats. Um, is this the right side of the zoo for it? That's a good question. Um, yes, <laughs> sure it is. Let's let's say it is. Uh, let's have you there. And then in that, we're going to carry on. We're going to have... We're going to have some fries. We're going to have another water. And then we're going to try and move this uh, building over so that it covers this up nicely. I think that's the best we're going to get. I'm going to try and smooth out this terrain slightly here to get rid of or even push it away slightly. There we go. Just to smooth that back out. So now they've got this nice little, this nice little guest section over here. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. And in fact, I think I might move the ATMs and have the guest facilities be here instead. Now we're going to add some milkshakes to this side of the park. We're going to need another food. Let's have another pizza and some coffee. Oh, look at them. They're all kind of in the, the red, red or pink theme. That's interesting. OK, and then I'm going to move this over again so that it covers their section. Okay, I think that's mostly pretty good. That that lines up reasonably well. Okay, and now we're going to need a little staff area over here as well. Or in fact, I think they could probably use the one we've got just here. It's not too far of a walk to get to this section. Now we're going to need to make a new work zone. And we're going to call, we're going to add uh, these three, these three, and then add all of the well, the staff building, I think, is actually the only one they need. Yeah, it's just the staff building there. And we're going to call this the Asian End or Asia End. I'll tell you what we'll call it. We'll call it the Island Guest Facilities. 
Now we also need to edit our zoo guest facilities and add in all of these extras that we've missed. And I think that's probably going to include all of the, the rides, all of the gondolas and the few power sources that we had to add. Um, so now that we've got all of those added, I think this will function properly and our mechanics are actually going to fix it if it breaks down, which is kind of important. So now it seems like a lot of the blockages have been fixed. I mean, it's there's still a slight delay, but over time this will balance out. And, you know, there are people going to get on, which is cool. It's bringing people over to this side of the zoo, though, which is the most important thing. Now we need to, we have a few alerts. Oh, oh, it's just that there's OK, there's quite a lot of demand for power over here, I think. Yes. OK, so we need a new power source just here. It's absolutely fine. I'm just going to add that into the zoo work zone as well while we're thinking about it. All of our dolls have passed quarantine, so I'm just going to move them over to our doll habitat. And we've got a few ATMs have broken down. And I'm wondering whether that's just because they uh, they didn't have power. I'm not really sure why that is, um, but they've broken down anyway. Now we need to add some seating into here and we're going to use the same ones we've been using, which are the New World picnic benches. I'm going to add a nice smattering of these around along with some bins and then we can get some more trees in here to really make this kind of feel of a, a bit of a nicer area. I'm just going to move this tree out of the... Uh, I'm going to move it over here out of the way for now. Um, we're going to build a bit of a feature in the middle and I want this to be a more natural area. So I'm going to pause the game. Um, and whilst they say natural, I am going to put in some man-made things, <laughs> of course, uh, which we actually don't have now. I'm just realizing we're probably going to need to research some of these. So I want to get some more of these statues to add in, which aren't made of stone, but I still think it's, it's going to massively fit the theme of what we're after. And I also got realizing that we haven't done any vet research in ages, so I'm going to set our vets to just research a number of the new species in no particular order. We just want to make sure that they're all getting researched. Now, I'm also going to set our mechanic to research the first level of any of the themes that have animals with them. Like I'm pretty sure Indonesia has animals. We've got the North Africa, I believe does um, the Twilight theme and the South South America. I think we've done the others. I'm pretty sure the India theme I tell you what, maybe we should just do the base level of all of the themes because that way we unlock all of the construction pieces. So I think that's what we're going to do. And I know this is going to wreak absolute havoc on our maintenance of the facilities. But if we can get this done, it's going to be it's going to unlock so many construction pieces for us. I'm going to train everyone up as well. They're probably all going to complain that they can't do research at the same time, but I believe in them. So while we wait for them to do their research, I'm just going to add some benches and bins around the area so that we're, we're prepared for our guests to eat in them. <gasps> oh no, we've lost Gummy. Oh, Gummy. Forever in our hearts, you will be missed. I'm trying to think whether we need to replace them now. We've got Kim in here still, don't we? Yeah, but any any babies, males, are going to be Kim's. So I think we're going to need to get a new Komodo dragon male. Although Kim's probably getting on. Yeah, she's elderly. Oh, that's sad. Okay, well, we need to get a new Komodo dragon. I also, I feel like this probably won't gel with the realism because I don't think you can just put a new male in and it not eat all the babies. But, <laughs> but in this game, and as it as it is, it doesn't. And I think for this series, if we keep it where the animals are dying this quickly, we, we just need to, we need to get new males in. So I'm gonna adopt a new male and send them to quarantine and then we can move them over and uh, have them in the habitat soon, hopefully. It's so cool to see that our uh, our ride's doing well. Like, look at all the look at all the queuing. People want to use it. How cool is that? I wonder whether it's um one of the popular uh, guest opinion things. They want to go on the riverboat and they want to go on the suspended gondola. How cool is that? 
They just want more um, drinks and they want less litter. And I think, I think we can all relate. <laughs> oh no, we've lost Juniper. Oh bless. I love our giraffes. They're just so cute. Look how many of them we have. Like we've done such a good job with this breeding program. Oh, and all our dolls have arrived. All joining the pack. It's good to see. Just having a little play around in their habitat, aren't they? Make such weird sounds. <laughs> They're quite cool though, I have to say. Oh my goodness. And a dangerous animal has escaped. One of the proboscis monkeys has managed to get outside of the barrier. Um, so we're going to emergently, emergency capture them. And then we need to take a look at where these animals can actually go. Ah, so that is a problem. Oh my goodness. <gasps> well, I hope they're okay. Um, I think what we just need to do is just a very simple case of shifting this habitat over very slightly. This shelter. I don't think that's going to change anything massively, but it just means that they can't leave. Yeah, because the jump's too too big for them. They're not, they never attempt the jump. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I think it's a cool way for them to see the guests. And in reality, I'm sure one of them would jump on here. <laughs> but, you know, a visit from a proboscis monkey isn't the worst thing in the world. It's not like, you know, a gorilla getting out. <laughs> It's, uh, well, maybe it is. I don't know what they're like up close. They're probably a lot scarier than they look. They just look hilarious to me. Like, proboscis monkeys are some of the funniest looking animals you've ever seen. Look at that face. Yeah, I, can't, I couldn't be scared of that face unless it was right in front of me. Then I'd probably be very scared. Okay, the staff are having to queue to use the workshops, which I think is probably... I mean, we don't really need more workshops because how often are we going to use them? I think I'm just going to let them queue and uh, it'll just take a bit longer for them to finish all of the research. But it's not the worst thing. And for now, I think we can probably just add in the nature part of this habitat. Of, of this habitat? Of this guest area. Treating it like a habitat. Also, look at all the hats. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. I absolutely love it. I wonder whether they, um, they're they based on the... Oh, no, they can't be based on the animals we have in the zoo because we've got lions and rhinos. We don't have those. Oh, everyone needs the loo. That's a really good point. Thank you. Thank you, people over here. Uh, we need to put some toilets. <laughs> um, maybe we should put in a large conservation toilet. Wow, look at this. That's insane. I kind of love it, though. I'm just going to use their blueprint because that looks phenomenal and it, it kind of fits in with uh, the rest of the decoration we've got. I guess because we, we've been going heavily into the conservation theme. Like it ties in quite nicely with the uh, the ones behind. So I'm just going to add this in here and move the uh, the benches along. In fact, I think if we, if we move the bin out of the way, then the benches can just sit where they are because forever i mean every time someone goes to the toilet there's there's someone else who's waiting who's not going to the toilet so i'm just gonna add a good amount of seating along here <laughs> uh maybe put the bin at the end so it looks a bit less odd and have a have a nice row of seating there but now we've got a couple of toilets in there i think that's going to be a lot better let's add that into the work zone as well we're going to have that on the guest facilities work zone um, actually, no, we don't need it on there. We just need it on our zoo work zone because it's only the caretakers who actually need to use, who actually need to like look after the, the toilets. It's not our vendors. I don't know why I thought it'd be our vendors. <laughs> That's uh, definitely not in their job description. So now our caretakers can can have a stab at that. I think it's probably time that we uh, we train everyone up again as well. I've also noticed that we've got quite a lot of animals in our exhibit trading. So I'm just going to have grab all of these and sell them to the wild for 18 grand, which is quite a lot of money because I've noticed we have been dipping in our profits lately, which is probably not a good thing, <laughs> but we could definitely recover. I think it's just been from some crazy spending. Like, look, we got 20,000 in, in just land area tax, but uh, we could definitely clean this up. It's, it's maybe just needs a bit of tightening on the old, uh, on the old, the purse strings. <laughs> We've got no loans though, so we're absolutely fine. And a lot of them are just construction costs that we have because we're building constantly. So it's not something to be worried about. It's just something we should probably think about. Plus we've got some serious feeding costs because we have so many. I mean, we spend five grand a year just on feeding our penguins because we've got so many of them. So I'm going to take a number of these and just release them into the wild. 
Okay, we're going to release 76. A couple of them can't be released just because they're aged, but that's fine. Um, we're going to release them for 5,000 credits. That's insane. I'm also just going to release a number of our red, red rough lemurs because we've been breeding these guys like crazy too. And I realize we've got another male here as well, another male giraffe, which I'm just going to release into the wild for 300 credits. It's insane. So uh, hopefully that's uh, that's sorted out some of our... Oh no, one of our otters has died as well. Goodness, we're losing otters, but we seem to have quite a few still. A bit morbid that they're swimming around them. I'm going to move away. And uh, our new Komodo dragon is ready. He's past quarantine. So I'm going to move him into the Komodo dragon. I'm on the wrong side of the... Wrong side of the zoo. I'm going to move him into the Komodo dragon habitat, which is just over here. Okay, so we just had a little blip in the recording and unfortunately missed that I've just added some plants to this area. I didn't do anything crazy, but I just added in some nature. So we haven't got any rocks, but we've got the, um, just like the, the actual planting. And actually I might add a few rocks because you know me, I can't resist a rock. <laughs> as soon as I said it, I was like, mm, why haven't I got a rock? <laughs> uh, but I've just put in some plants and some trees. So I'm going to add in some rocks now just to spice up this area slightly. And then we've got quite a natural looking, uh, eating area for our guests. Okay, I just added some rocks in there and I think that looked pretty cool. I love these these hats that everyone's got on now. <laughs> like, look at them. This is so ridiculous. I absolutely love it. <laughs> oh, we've got the inspector arrived. I'm wondering whether it's worth us having more um, staff, more vendors in our... Oh, I'm not actually sure we've assigned them. Ah, see, we need to add these into the, the, the vendors into our island guest facilities. And then it's probably worth us hiring maybe a couple more just to do, just to help with this area too. Oh, cinnamon died. The lemur. Bless. Black and white rough lemur. And we've lost one of our African wild dogs as well. Oh, our horses are about to inbreed. I think we have a young male in here. Oh, no, I'm going to cancel because it looks like he's the alpha. Does that mean that our, our main male has passed away? Oh, no, that's a shame. Our spirit has passed away, but I think... Yeah, he, I think he's related to all of these. Yeah, a lot of them are his siblings anyway, so I'm going to release him into the wild still. And then we need to get a new male horse. Um, looking at them, I mean, there's a cheaper one here. He's only six. That's not too old. One is seven there. I think I'm going to get this one that's six years old. And send them to our quarantine. And our vets have been doing some good vet research. I think if we move them onto some other animals as well. Just because we can unlock things like better food. Now, I did want to add in some animals to the centerpiece of, of this little guest area. Um, but I still want to wait for our mechanics to do their thing. So I think that's going to have to be done in the next episode. Now, in the next episode, we've got a massive habitat going in with a few different species that are all going to get on with each other. So I'm really excited for that one. And I'll leave you guys to decide what you think it is. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you have, please give it a like and I'll see you in the next one.